whenever we have a request jaise ye client hai ye request karta hai kisko uh, amazon ko to pehle request kiske paas jati hai proxy server ke paas right nazar aa raha hai aapko and we assume just for the sake of understanding that no copy uh, of uh, similar request is available at the proxy server so http http request will be forwarded to the original server and original server will send the requested um, you know uh, object to the proxy server and the proxy server will forward it to the uh, client machine and also will uh, you know maintain a copy of it at the uh, at itself right will maintain a copy of it right so next time if another client is coming in and the client requests the same object what the proxy server will do it will not forward the request to the original server right and will you know uh, return the reply and let's assume that we have many such clients uh, they try to access the same object so every time we do not need to forward it to the original server so the proxy server or the web cache is very important why because it is you know it is limiting the traffic on your internet access or uh, internet link so on your access link what we are trying to do is we are trying to uh, minimize the traffic okay so imagine every time we are sending request to the original server this means there will be a lot of uh, you know traffic on this internet access or access link or the internet link here clear and you know this proxy server uh, you know acts as a client and server at the same time it acts as a server when it you know reply uh, sends a response to the client and it acts as a client when it sends a request to the original server okay so this proxy server is acting as a, a, a client as well as a server right and it's of absolute importance right otherwise every request will be forwarded to uh, uh, to the original server okay uh, is it clear up till now yes sir okay good and uh, i was discussing that uh, through the use of content distribution uh, networks so using what using content uh, distribution network the cdns um the web caches are increasingly playing a very important important role um, in the internet right so what happens nowadays is that a content distribution network company installs many geographically distributed caches throughout the throughout the internet why because they localize much of the traffic right so we have like shared uh, content distribution networks we have uh, dedicated contribution uh, content distribution networks such as google and microsoft have their dedicated uh, you know content distribution networks right so what we are doing is we are trying to localize the traffic and if we you look at from the perspective of a uh, you know uh, from the perspective of a institute or a company or an office so we are not sending every request out of the office or an institute every time but obviously uh, you know uh, uh, obviously there is a problem here the problem is or the question is the copy of an object residing in the cache is maybe is maybe not updated i mean maybe i am maintaining a copy of an object here the proxy server but the that object has been updated at the original server so this, the question is am i getting the updated copy um, uh, am i getting the updated copy of um, the 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 object i'm trying to access right yes this is an issue and in order to you know handle it we have a conditional get mechanism uh, 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 to make sure that the object that is being forwarded by the or that is being provided by the proxy server or the the web cache is updated right so what i'm saying is uh, in order to 
resolve this issue that I get the updated copy of the object that I'm you know trying to request or I'm requesting. We have for this um, a conditional. Uh, conditional get mechanism, right? So using this conditional get mechanism, um, an HTTP request, uh, you know, uh, ensures that uh, latest or updated object is being provided, right? So what happens with this is that the request the message uses the uh, get method, first of all, and uh, the request message uh, also indicates that an if modified since uh, you know, it's a new uh, command or a line that is added into the HTTP uh, request, right? So what you know, I'm saying is that a new line is added, uh, it, you know, in the request message, and it this is what if modified uh, since. Right, and um, we add it in the header. And, you know, um, uh, this tells us that um, uh, when was the last copy saved on the, uh, you know, the cache. And when I get a response from the server, it also includes what, so this is on the client side. So when I, you know, receive a response from the server, it also has an additional line in the, reply that is last modified, last modified. So, so if there is a, you know, if there's a difference of date in there, so this means it is not uh, the latest copy on the proxy server. And in this case, the proxy server has to uh, get the fresh or the updated copy from the original server. So are you getting my points, right? So the, the obviously the web cache is very helpful in order to localize the traffic, you know, using content distribution networks. Uh, and uh, we have, you know, open content distribution and proprietary, uh, you know, content distribution networks, uh, dedicated, I mean, con uh, content distribution networks, uh, which is true in the case of Google and Microsoft. But um, uh, whenever we are using proxy server, there's a question always there that the, the, the copy of the object that is being provided by the proxy server to a client is either updated or not. And in order to resolve it, we have this conditional get mechanism where we have a, a line in the header, uh, you know, HTTP request header, if modified since where, you know, the date when it was stored on the proxy server. And the server also sends up an object where it mentions the last modified so that we can identify uh, that uh, this object needs to be refreshed on a proxy server or web cache. Okay. And remember again, uh, before establishing, you know, uh, this connection, uh, what we have to do before we can send a request to proxy server, what we have to do, we have to establish a TCP connection again, right? Again, first, a TCP connection will be established between the client and the proxy server or the proxy server or the original server, right? And then we will be able to send a HTTP request and we'll be able to get HTTP response. Okay, so, so the HTTP connection is a must. So first we have to establish, uh, sorry, a TCP connection is a must. So first we have to establish a TCP connection and then only we'll be able to send HTTP request to proxy server, whether it will be forwarded to uh, the original server or not will be decided that uh, uh, does it have uh, the copy of the requested object. If it does not, again, uh, you know, it has to establish a TCP connection first with the original server, and then it will send a forward HTTP request and will be able to get HTTP response. 